Tonight, we're continuing to follow tense and emotional testimony in a murder trial happening in Jackson County. Fred McNaughton now found guilty of viciously attacking his girlfriend with his car, leaving her in a coma for months before her death. Amber Spradley brings us a closer look from inside the courtroom today. Following a three day trial, the jury finds Fred McNaughton guilty of second degree murder. Judge Kathy King Jackson sentencing McNaughton to 40 years in prison without parole, but not before sitting through emotional victim impact statements. She listened to my gut. That's Nina's father. What you did, Fred, was gutless. It would take only a gutless coward to use a 5,000 pound of the rubber or a 100 pound little girl. The court also heard from Nina's nine year old daughter she leaves behind. While we've chosen not to identify her or share her testimony, Assistant District Attorney Carolyn Lewis released this statement saying in part, I am in awe of the strength shown by Nina's daughter. She demonstrated incredible bravery and poise in facing her mother's killer. It's been two years. We've been waiting to get justice. Nina's sister, Sunny Cumbus, describes what she felt facing McNaughton in court. Anger. All, all the feelings, um, trying to be respectful and know that we're not here for him. We're here for her and to do what's right regardless. District Attorney Angel Myers Mickelrath says in part, the jury saw the truth despite the defendant's efforts to gaslight them. Nina had a voice in the courtroom and justice was delivered. I feel like we got the best possible case. We're still waiting on a few more details, but as of right now, we're all pretty satisfied with what we've heard. She was a little chihuahua. She was so feisty. Uh, she was a go-getter. She was a hard worker. She was a mom. She was a daughter. She was a friend. She loved everybody, and we miss her. In Pascagoula, Amber Spradley, WLOX News Now.